lineup. Was this, was this a point of apprehension for you when you first got started? Did you wonder if you could do it together as a unit? I, I think we're a team. I don't think we've really worried about that too much. And uh, the early season so far sort of added to our confidence. And uh, things are going about the way we hope to. How would you define this team? What would be your words to describe it at this point? I think we have uh, an amazing center. I think that makes all of us a lot better. And we have real good team quickness. And mm -hmm. so I think that that helps both offensively and defensively. And uh, you can tell, I mean, we've played a lot of good players this year, but if you have a whole, you know, team overall quickness, that it seems to, you know, win games in the end. Well, Greg, here's to a quick recovery on your knee injury and hope to see you in the lineup next weekend. Thank you very much. You know, a lot of people have been saying we're not very good. Mm -hmm. And I think we are good, you know. I, I don't know how good, but I think we have a good team. And, and uh, like, I just wish that, you know, that we as a team could get, you know, the recognition that I think we deserve. Mm -hmm. How would you describe it? What do you think are your strong points and what are some of the things that you think the team should work on? If we can just, you know, uh, uh, control our concentration more in the later stages of the game, mm -hmm. then I think, you know, like uh, we'll be a better team. Now your team is rated number one in the nation and it's a young team. Are you bothered at all by the pressures of having to stay up there? Uh, there's really no pressure because, like, we haven't been there before. Mm -hmm. Like, Henry's the only guy who's been there before. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's a completely new experience to us. And, like, you know, we're excited about it, but we're not, you know, uh, we know a number one ranking now, you know, it's not going to mean anything. Like, you know, next week when we go up to Oregon State, it's, mm -hmm. it's going to be against us because, you know, it'll, uh, they'll try really hard to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to beat to beat us because we're UCLA, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't think the number one ranking is, you know, uh, it, it doesn't bother us. Like, uh, we all know we're ranked number one, but like it doesn't affect our lifestyle or our play or anything like that. Uh, but it does um, give us a lot of confidence, you know, like because it shows that. Uh, that people think, you know, that, that people have respect for our basketball abilities. Mm -hmm. And so like, it gives us confidence. Well, Bill, what about your knees? I understand that you put the hydroculator pads on them before the game, and after the game you have to uh, put ice on the knees. Are they coming along well? Are you comfortable? Yeah, they, uh, my knees are, like, are coming along really good this year mm -hmm. but as compared to last year, you know, like last year I... I played in constant pain and like that. It wasn't it wasn't any fun at all. Mm -hmm. But this year, uh, they haven't given me any troubles in games so far. But like they've bothered me a few days in practice, mm -hmm. where uh, uh, you know like they just don't feel good. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been fortunate, you know, that they've you know that they've held up so far, and I hope they can continue, you know, as you know, as they've been going. What is it, a problem of tendonitis or what? Yeah, I have tendonitis in my knees. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, you know, I, I have pain in my knees, and it's just a matter of, you know, playing. You know, I, I want to play. I want to help the team win. Well, I tell you, if I could have played as well as you do with pain, it would have been all right, and I'm sure you're not going to have any trouble. Bill, thank you very much. Congratulations on being the most valuable player in the tournament and continued success to you and the team. Thank you very much. Henry, congratulations on winning in the Bruin Classic. It was a great effort against Ohio State. I thought they'd give you a tougher game. Uh, they really played good. Uh, advantage. <laughs> and we just took advantage of it, I guess. Henry, you're the senior and captain of this very young team. How does it feel to play with these very young and promising players? It's, it feels real good. Um, the players play so much together. Mm -hmm. They are looking uh, really for the open man, and they are really looking to win. So uh, it, it's really good to be playing on a team of this nature. I watch you out there tonight, and you are known as a scorer, but you take tremendous pride in your defense. I saw the job that you did on Alan Hornyak. A lot of great teams here at UCLA. How do you feel that you would do? Do you feel that this team has as much potential as any that you've played with? I really don't know. Like, last year was a really great team. We had three really true All-Americans, and uh, I don't know if we have guys of that physical ability this year or not. You, you never can tell until we go uh, away from home, until we play teams away. And I think we, uh, we can really tell when we go away from home and play some ball. How do you feel going into conference play? Uh, I'm very confident of our play now. Uh, I think we'll be ready to play. I really do.
Congratulations on a great win, and good luck to you in the conference. Thank you very much, Tommy. Being the open man well, you seem to work together as a unit. Yeah, well, I think that as much as Henry said, we're young, we look for the open man. I play high post, mm -hmm. and Bill plays low. And uh, the ball is usually thrown into me, and we just go from there. Mm -hmm. we, we look for Bill or Henry or Larry on the sides, or back to Greg or Tommy, who's ever in at that point. Are you personally satisfied with your progress up to this point? Uh, personally? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm satisfied. Keith, good luck to you. Thank you. Coach Wooden is too young to say how great a college team is at this point in the season, but you've got to be impressed with the tremendous team play and individual abilities that you have on your team this year. I'm very impressed, uh, Tommy, with my team. They have come along much faster than I anticipated they would because of their inexperience and their extreme youth. Not only are we uh, inexperienced, but we're also very young age-wise. For example, Keith Wilkes, one of our fine forwards, is only 18, will not be 19 until two months after this season is over. And uh, Bill Walton just turned 19 and, and in November, and, and we are very young. And so I am very pleased uh, the way that they have come along. I do did think from the very beginning we had good balance. We had the big man that I knew was going to be a good one, and, and he certainly is. Uh, he's going to be uh, he's almost tremendous now, and he's going to be better. And uh, I know that Wilkes is a fine ball handler, quick hands, good defensive ball player, and a good team player. And Farmer gives us what we need in the other wing uh, on, with the type of offense that I'm using, which is something new and different uh, than I've ever used before. It's a, a sort of a combination of offenses that I thought served us well, and I'm trying to get some of the strong points of both. And of course. Uh, the offense, too, I had in mind for Bibby because I believe playing him on a wing has helped him. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I felt we had good point men, and now we lost, as you know, for tonight. The point man that had been uh, started every game for us, and Greg Lee, and has done well. And, uh, but I brought in Tommy Curtis, and they fought it out for the starting uh, spot uh, in October and November. Up and in, and uh, it was close, and Tommy got his chance tonight and did tremendous, and I'm so happy for him because he's such a nice youngster, too. Came through very well, Coach, and I'd like to have your bench on the starting team, on another team. You have to be uh, grateful and uh, impressed with the bench with authority and confidence. Yes, I can. I thought tonight when uh, Walton got in foul trouble and I could bring in Sven Nader, uh, a youngster who's really had only one year of, of a competition in basketball, not having played high school basketball and really having played only one year in junior college, although he was there two years and on the squad his first year, he hardly played at all. So he, he's not a natural, he doesn't react well in, to basketball situations, but he's shown improvement, he's big and he's strong, and after he settled down, after I put him in tonight, and he's in when we need him because uh, uh, Ohio State made a little run at us there and brought it into 10 points, and Walton had the four fouls, and, and I need somebody to keep the game from getting out of hand. Coach Wooden, the strengths of your team are very obvious, I think. What are some of the things that concern you right now that you would like to have your team work on? Uh, last night, against a 1-3-1 zone, uh, not in the game against Ohio State, but against Texas last night, uh, we felt that uh, they were leaving us uh, certain openings that we certainly should be able to capitalize on, and we were not. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think maybe that uh, we can work that out, though. I, I, I think I know the problem, and I believe that we'll be able to work that out. But it, it's things that, uh, some of the things that uh, our, our players are still uh, so inexperienced that they don't adjust uh, quickly uh, mm -hmm. to changes against them out there. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, on the game tonight, uh, uh, when we were uh, uh, put in position where we got a big lead and then they closed in a little bit and got it down to 10, sometimes a young team just might go all apart, mm -hmm. regardless of their abilities. And I'm sure you've seen it, Tommy, and so have I. But uh, we didn't. We, we settled down and, and then we uh, took uh, real good shots at that point and, and then we picked up and run, run the lead back again. So you've had many personal honors and team honors. What is the joy of coaching and putting together a new team every year? Well, uh, Tommy, th there are so many things enjoyable uh, in this uh, profession. Uh, we have our headaches and our heartaches, of course, and, uh, but some say uh, it's better to coach in the pros because you don't have to change them 
you don't have a changing personnel all the time. You just add uh, as each year goes along, uh, maybe a man uh, or two if you need them, but you keep the same ones for, you know, 8, 10, 12 years in many cases. Uh, but I, I think uh, that's the pleasure of uh, college coaching. You do get new faces and, and uh, new youngsters all the time. And one of the pleasures I get is uh, analyzing the new youngsters that I get and, and getting to know more of them. And, and uh, then you, you have so many that they come and go. When I look around and see that I think, I think 10 or 11 of the players who have played for me at UCLA are practicing law here, and many are teachers, and there are several doctors, and dentists, and businessmen. Uh, there is there so many pleasures, and you get so close to players in, 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 in intercollegiate and interscholastic athletics. You get so close to them. Well, Coach, I'm completely enthralled and all wrapped up in the excitement of your UCLA basketball team, the 1971-72 edition, and good luck to you for the rest of the season. Thank you, Tommy. I did promise the people that this would be an exciting and an entertaining team. I didn't know how productive they'd be, but they've been pretty productive so far. I just hope we keep it up. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Tommy.